This episode is brought to you by The Guarantors. Chasing down residents who don't pay their rent is taxing enough. Did you know you could offset the risk of renter default? Meet The Guarantors. They'll requalify your applicants and ensure their rent. If the resident doesn't pay, you still get paid. Visit theguarantors.com forward slash multifamily today. Welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Collective. Today, let's talk about AI and let's talk about it as it relates to an evolution. So ChatGPT makes its way onto the scene uh, in a mass way in November of 2022. And it is a prompt-based experience where you author something and you get an answer back. That's evolved to, hey, I am, or you are a world-class copywriter or you're a world-class business operator, or in other words, you're sort of adapting the answer to the prompt that you're putting in by putting in some preface, right? Some context. And I think slowly but surely that's going to adapt because each time you craft a prompt that has context, the engine learns a little bit about you and it learns a little bit about the world and it learns a little bit about creating context as it relates to the things that you're prompting it to assist you with. And I think it's going to quickly evolve, if not already. Uh, I think it is already evolved, but in a mass way, it's going to evolve to the point where you are, it's going to know enough about you as an individual. And this is not new. This is something that we've talked about in the past. It's going to, going to know enough about you as an individual and your preferences that it can actually go out and engage with other AI engines, other AI uh, LLMs out in the world, whether it be an apartment community or a property management company or any other sort of domain, your agent, knowing a lot about you, is going to go out and figure out things for you with other LLMs, and it's going to come back and produce things for you in a, a predictive way. If you put in a notice of AK for your apartment, it's quite reasonable to think that your AI agent that knows enough about you will go out and determine, and it knows enough about you to know where you're moving to, the general area you would want to move to, the city you would want to move to, the state that you would want to move to. It knows enough that it'll go out and it'll start to make some recommendations. And then we evolve to the point where those recommendations, when they come back to you, can be responded to you verbally. Hey, that looks great, except. I'm not going to Houston, I'm going to Dallas. Or I'm not moving to New York City, rather I'm moving to New York State and I'm going to be in the Buffalo area. Or I'm moving out west to Seattle, Washington, or Federal Way, or North Bend. And it'll actually take your verbal responses and it'll craft and fashion a more specific response for you. And so you're going to have these conversational interface, interfaces rather with your AI. And think about this, in a property management system, whatever your system of record is, it doesn't matter. They're all working on it right now if they've not already embedded it. The data that sits in here, this sort of single source of truth, and we'll get into data integrity in a different episode, but whatever data you have on your property management company that is baked into your property management system, let's say it's Yardi, RealPage, Appfolio, or otherwise, it's not too far-fetched to think that in the very near future, if it's not already all put out there into the world, and I know it is at Appfolio, but you can literally prompt the PMS system for any answer that you want. Compare water costs at a particular property in a particular city uh, year over year. Tell me what it is. If there are anomalies there, then can you point out what you think the, the anomaly might be? And by the way, these analyses, if you go to the concept of management by exception, if you bake enough data into your LLM, into your prompt engine, uh, these predictive analytics, be analytics become a very real theme. In other words, you wake up one day, you go to work, you open your dashboard, whether you're working in your house or, or at home rather in, or at an office, you open up your dashboard and your dashboard tells you that based on a year-over-year -year comparison of water costs in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I think you might have a leak because your consumption is off the charts. And your bill, your bill 45 days from now, by the way, is going to be off the charts as well. You probably have a leak. And when we get really into the internet of things and you have sensors on everything, that AI engine will tell you exactly where that leak is or, or in a rough proximity 
you know, it's a, it's an underground sprinkler pipe over by building 26. It'll be that smart and that sophisticated. And that'll happen very soon if it isn't already happening and starting to present itself into our property management systems. But the evolution of AI and what it will do to business uh, in terms of optimizing your operations uh, is whatever you can think up in your mind, it's already being done or worked on. And then whatever we need to iterate from there, humans will definitely still be in the equation in terms of iterating things and thinking of things, creatively analyzing properties. But the AI is going to get smarter and smarter and smarter as you feed more and more and more data into it and you feed more and more prompts or more and more prompts for workflows into the system. It's going to start very quickly anticipating what you're after and then also using data and information to inform you of things you might not be thinking about. That's sort of Jahari's window of things. That's it for today. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.